So hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you 5 tips in Power Query that will allow you to work faster and to do some cool things. Let's get started. Okay, tip number one. This comes from Chris Webb and he shows how to do this in this blog. I'm going to link down below. So you see two columns, first name, last name, check this out. You see the pop-up? that shows like some description of the column is actually happening behind the scenes. So if you go to the advanced editor, is this documentation field description that allows you to have this pop up and have some complementary description about what those columns are. So for self service, quite neat if you have the time to document everything. So if you want more details, again, down below in the description box. Now, this leads me to tip number two. I'm not sure when this came out, but this Ed that shared it on Twitter and he says like if you hover over functions, now it pops up the documentation for the function. So you can see there, it works there. It doesn't work everywhere though. So here it doesn't pop up anything, not even if you click. So I don't know exactly why, but it works with most functions. Quite neat. If you feel a bit confused with M intelligence, I understand. I mean, it's not always very useful, especially if you never used a function before. In that case, it's better to Google it. But if you've used it before and you know the structure, this is actually pretty, pretty useful. I have a video on that if you want to check it out. Anyhow, tip number three. If you want to change how the name, the name of a step before you have to right click, there was a time where you could do F2 to change it, it is back. So if I press F2, I can change the name of the step, which makes it much, much easier to work with Power Query. So there is a really, really neat function. Now, tip number four, if you have bad eyes and you say, oh my God, everything is so small. How am I going to see that? You press control, Shift and then plus Control Shift plus and it will make your Power Query editor bigger. Control Shift minus it will make it back smaller. So eh? your own glass uh, glasses for Power Query. Quite neat. Last but not least. If you make a change here, for example, and instead of close and apply, you close, it will appear a ribbon. Put it there. You see the ribbon here? And you have the possibility to click apply changes or discard. If you discard, it will tell you not what you've changed. I think that is not really correct sentence. It tells you where in which table something was changed. So I've done changes in steps and you can't see it. So you can discard it, and if you go back, it's something that is quite interesting is if you do a change and then you click close and apply, I've seen that ribbon before, it's going to show here, but you can't click it because it's going to apply. So I'm not sure why it's showing when you actually can't click it. But if you just close, then it is available for you. You can click discard changes, and then it will show you where changes were made and ask you if you want to discard them. So those are my five tips. Let me know if you knew all of them. What is your favorite tip? And I will see you again on Friday with another Tax Fridays video. And again, if you want to know more about IntelliSense, check this video out. <laughs> Bye.